All right, so I'm here to talk about Jurassic World. I have not reviewed the first three yet. I'm going to do that eventually. After this video, I'll talk about one and two and three. Oh, God. Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Vincent D'Onofrio, and it also stars a bunch of dino food, and it is directed by Colin Trevorrow, who made Safety Not Guaranteed, I believe, and that's a movie, it's on my Netflix, I'm gonna watch it eventually. And this is the fourth Jurassic Park movie, the first three, that trilogy, we all, the first one is legendary without a doubt, it's one of the best movies ever, one of Spielberg's best, and it's just fantastic, it's a fantastic movie. And then the sequels, yeah, I'll talk about them, I guess. But this one was very hyped up, and it's been forever since Jurassic Park 3 came out, like 2001, so I think about 14 years. But now that they're back, people are into it. This movie is like one of the most successful movies ever so far. Like half a billion opening weekend. People want to see dinosaurs. And in this one, John Hammond's dream of this great park and all is open, but now it's Jurassic World. It's this big theme park, and... Even dinosaurs get like over commercialized and they're like people don't even care about dinosaurs now We need a crossbreed and this and that and things go bad when they make the Indominus Rex I think it's called and it is incredibly intelligent cross between all these different dinosaurs It breaks out all hell breaks loose as it's eating people for sport And we got a couple characters that maybe we like hoping to survive and yeah, that's this movie pretty similar to the other one and this is the first Jurassic Park movie I've seen in theaters. You know, when the first one came out, I was sperm. <laughs> and uh, the third, by 2001, I probably still didn't even see that one in theaters. But this is the first one, and I got, like, just goosebumps and bone-chilling epicness flowing through me when I heard the Jurassic Park music for the first time in booming... Like, I'm in a theater, and I'm hearing I'm like, this is it. This is it. Is that good enough? And Chris Pratt is an awesome actor, just a likable dude. And in this, he's the best character, and really the only character you like. And Bryce Dallas Howard does good work too. She's a good actress, and her character grows on you throughout the movie, so I guess you sort of care about her. But, like, Chris Pratt's the only one that you're like, yes, I, you're the man. Like, really, that's what I was thinking. Like, he is the dude. Hey, man, the rug really tied the room together. Not that dude, but you get what I mean. And Bryce Dallas Howard, as I said, was good. The two kids in the movie were like, eh, I like the little kid enough, but they really, they didn't feel that needed. It was just sort of, especially because you know where the movie's going to go. This movie is fairly predictable in who's going to get eaten, who's going to live, what's going to happen. You pretty much see most of it coming. I mean, Vincent D'Onofrio, my God, Ugh. just everything about his character, you know where it's going to go. He's such a piss poor, he was one of the worst characters in a movie I've seen in a long time. He was an idiot. And a lot of the other characters, there were very few characters, there was just a lot of dino food running around. You just see him and you know you're dead. Not even a half doubt about it, you are a dead man. That happens so often. There was so few. Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt, the only characters, like, yeah, I kind of like you. And then the kids pretty much like, you're probably not going to get eaten because you're kids. But this movie is so predictable and just we've seen it all before. We know where it's going and the effects, sometimes they're very bad. Sometimes they were decent. But the thing is, Jurassic Park Spielberg used CGI sparingly. He did a lot of practical effects because CGI does get dated with time. And he knew eventually this won't look good. Let's use it. Let's hide it in the dark and shadows and this and that. Let's rely on practical effects animatronics so it'll hold up with time. And it does. And in this, they're like, no, we got money. CGI effects are good now, right? Let's just do it wherever we want. Who cares about hiding it? I think there was one time where I saw an animatronic in this movie. Aside from that, it was all CG. And it doesn't look as good. It won't look good in a couple of years. And that bums me out. But this movie does have something. Something wholly awesome. The whole ending, the final third act, the final confrontation was amazing. It is fantastic where it goes. It is exactly what you want to see in one of these types of movies. It's so good. I can't talk about it here. I'll do a spoiler review to talk about it. It was so good. 
So yeah, you got like two characters, like a bunch of dummies. Like really, there's a bunch of people, they're not even characters, and they're not people because people would not make these decisions. They're so stupid. Hey look, wanna go exploring in this open field and then go in this forest even though there's a cage that's clearly been busted open and it looks very nefarious and bad? Whatever, we got VIP passes. Oh, a dinosaur is trying to kill us, whoops. There's just people making stupid decisions left and right. A lot of silly, dumb stuff. As I said, Vincent D'Onofrio's character, Oh, It was just the worst, but... And really, what he wanted to do in this movie, his whole point in the movie was so stupid! Like, I really couldn't believe you thought that... What the hell? But for the third act, we get it's awesome. And throughout the movie, even though a lot of it is predictable, there's some very cool moments before the ending. There's some cool moments, stuff I like. I'm going along with the journey even though we've seen it all pretty much before in the first three movies. So it's not all that new, except for the end pretty much. Otherwise, we've seen it all before. I like Chris Pratt, I like Bryce Dallas Howard enough, but man, it just wasn't nearly as good as it should have been. It should have been so much better. It's merely a good to pretty good movie when it should have been great. This should have been like the most badass movie of the summer. Dinosaurs, it should have been amazing and I'm disappointed that it wasn't. I would give Jurassic World a B minus. It's okay, I enjoy most of it. Like, it's a good movie, I could say that. And of all the sequels, it's probably the best sequel. Even though there's a lot of good stuff in it, I'm holding out for one of the sequels that is coming. This movie made half a billion already. So yeah, they're gonna be making sequels. I'm hoping the next couple sequels are great. They really do new stuff, not so predictable, and horrible characters. There's a lot of stupid, dumb characters in this movie. So comment below, tell me you thought of Jurassic World. What's your favorite Jurassic Park sequel? Because we all know Jurassic Park's the best, but what's your favorite sequel? Maybe you like number three. Alan, you know what I'm talking about. So tell me all about that, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.